Always good to see. Henry G challenge. with a P2000 Hawk. What's oh, happened here? Baby. Wow. Now that is a throwback. Don't see those too often. I feel like that's a gun you switch to occasionally, just when your USP shots aren't landing, and then you feel like you get the placebo effect of, for some reason, thinking that it's helping you. Yeah, we will. That's that's true. I, I don't know. Maybe something just didn't load properly. Uh, we have got a challenge. First blood. Kill an enemy in the first 13 seconds. Well, that's already out the window. This is a slow round indeed. And they're going to be boosting one up in towards mid. It's Anna who's actually going to boost Pimp. Of course, Pimp always has to be the one getting boosted. I actually don't have their long-range weapon over towards mid. The Deagle is currently looking for that pick at B, but it's earned a pixel out of the round early, and Nexa just can't line up the shot right now. Uh, Henry G sending the P2000 bullets down into the smokes, but not working out. It's Loba that actually slipped his way through the CT smoke, getting away with a ridiculous 2K. Make it three now for Loba. And Pimp finally makes something work from that boost, but he's got to make everything happen. Left alone in the one versus four, charging his way back to B in the final 30 seconds. And Loba, oh, moves forward with low health and still will beat Pip. Like that CT smoke onto B, slightly off. You saw the CTs play around this really effectively. If anything, Loba almost used it as cover for himself. Oh, this is a big challenge. Knife, earn a pixel and get $1,000. That's always got to be tempting. Yeah, it's going to be tough. Not an easy one. But the reward. And your G. Certainly going to be warmed up. Just played like a triple overtime game. And it's been up since the early hours of the morning playing Jules. Let's see how crispy he can be. Yet to get on the board. But Cat has been lost early on. Loba gets boosted up into the vent. Can't have been easy to shove him up there. Here he goes for the peak. Pimp taking off the top of the boost. Lobo once again outmatches Pimp. A really quick headshot. Again, you see that headshot height being peaked so that he didn't have to adjust too much. Finally, Nexa removes Loba from one of these rounds. Loba's first death on the board. I don't know, Pixel stay up a man, but this aggression from Letney will be good intel. Now they know they can stack this B site a little more heavily. And Acor's here, ready to hold. Well, Henry G. At the back of the site alongside Acor. Maybe something can be said of this MP9. He's forced out of position into the open and both B defenders swept away. Straight away, it's only pixel in towards this B site and just letting he left. Even after Pimp is the first player to fall. They're still able to recover this and only pixel goes back. Good for them in their first gun round. And now Team Loba's buy isn't ideal. Looked like they might have tried the counter boost, but the molly down below will deny. Now they're just in the open. Could be quite vulnerable here for Acor and Loba. They will try that counter boost now. Oh, well, well Pimp well, was ready for that. that. He wasn't even looking for the kill, but uh, head pops up. Pimp reacts in time. And he'll send the nade down, obviously realizing you can't get up on that alone, really. Without some great movement and being clunky. So Pimp goes out and clears mid. Good few openings for him. And if they go back into B, well, Henry G has been playing here solo. So they've decided they're going to go and attack him. They're going to try and put pressure on Henry G. And while well, he's got it for mass, he's in the open. Not a great position when they overrun you. And now he's given up the ghost. They know exactly where he is. The Famas not good enough to double up. And Barry will take him out with the AK. Next, uh, stops Letney from to the bye for Team Loba, though. And again, you can see that... Pretty heavy mid setup early. Akel's actually taking that orb to B though. So they're not going to challenge mid too aggressively, although now they're walking up and Loba is just going to clear out Pim. Yeah, Barry and Pim both, both gone so quickly in the round. So this is a very difficult start to play here for Team Ona Pixel. It's hard to see how. Team Loba will let this slip with the rifles this time. Okay, you can lose a round after getting big advantages on the pistols, but a round like this, this won't be happening. Loba extends their lead in the round with another kill. No response from Onapix. Not a single kill back yet from the T side. The round has really only begun. And it wouldn't be the biggest playmakers left on the side either. Sure, Anna might be able to get something done, but still five players to collect and Onapixel hasn't really shown the ability to, to break open a round in this competition. 
He's going to go back into middle. And they're trying to lead that charge. And uh, it's a bit of a, a clunk. We have some nades being lined up over towards this A site. So looks like Team Erna Pixel have got something up their sleeve here on Cash. They've had some pretty good utility so far. It's a good stack from Team Loba, though. Three CTs on A right now. It's a good thing that Erna Pixel didn't go for this play just yet. It's good to leave Henry over on B2. We'll have two comms, so... Rotation sh should be rather quick back if needed. He has shown to be quite reliable in terms of being able to get at least one when they do come into that B site. But here comes the challenge down on A. Cat is boosted up playing in the rafters. His quad set up alongside Letney, who has been very good towards this A side as well. The defense have been proficient in repelling a lot of these A plays. And here's the attempt again here from Monopixel's side. The smoke for the cross, some utility being set up, and the flash is deployed, but nothing yet working out for them. It's just double molly door to try and deny that side of the push. It is the A main play that looks likely, though. Another smoke for the cross. They're really taking their time, but Cat up top will now be vulnerable. They swing, but Cat finds two. Pimp finally finds the trade, but Letney still in the corner, and they do clear it. Important kills back from Pimp, and now they have the site. Yeah, well, that rotation is starting to come back in from Loba and Henry G, and here goes Loba sensing the timing on the planter, but oh, it's not oh, clean. No. Not clean at all, and Pimp will recover. Team owner Pixel. Where's Loba's SMG when he needs it? The MP9 would have got that one for sure. Would have got it easy all day of the week. That's Gotta get nice more duct tape on the mic, Pimp. I think. What, by the way? POS5, make an assist. Is that play from Loba flashing in? Oh, where is Loba looking? Pimp's able to find him. Again, the early aggression just snuffed out. Oh, a missed shot from Acor. Lenny's come in and Nexa has gone down and Acor is going to look for a bit more. Takes the boost down, the drop down sounds maybe ring out, but no peek being faded out. And he goes over the top and oh, so quick, but not accurate enough. Owner Pixel, I thought, was sure to die, but Pimp able to take out his fellow Dane. And now we're down to just two players for Loba's side with one minute left. And that B site was lost long ago. What's Owner Pixel's nades looking like? Ooh, I don't think that smoke went fully into CT. I'm not going to lie. But he's crossed safely, so it's all good. But now Anna. Oh, I thought I had that one dead to rights, but this is the opportunity onto Letney. Instead, they'll just molly off heaven. Try and make sure this retake is as unlikely as it looks right now. Yeah, cat given a small few chances, but none of them being capitalized upon. And she's just going to sit back, try and catch some exits on the way out of spawn here, but uh, not looking good. Letting his turn do so as well. Keeping him pinned behind smokes for the time being. But the time ticks on, the bomb goes off, and Barry <laughs> kills his own teammate. Okay. And I don't think it's going to work out for them. Oh, Pimp clearly just has good awareness here. The site looks to be open. I think he even spotted Loba at Highway, and Loba none the wiser. Pimp making a meal out of it, though. Tries to go with the nade instead. That bomb's still not on A, even though they have the site. So this is a little awkward. Let's see if Anna can make this AWP sing. It's Henry G that goes down first. Nice swing out from Loba from Highway. He sends Pimp to hell. Encore attempting some wild jumps with a P250. Eventually will break down Nexa in more stable approach to the P250 shots. 35 seconds left in the round. And uh, the T is still with quite a bit of ground to make up. Barry has told him I'm inside of the B-bomb side at the moment, but the bomb still has to make it over there. And here comes the rotations. Might make things a little more difficult. Cat goes around the corner and actually removes Barry. That's such an important kill to find. The fact that Barry goes down 
pretty much spells disaster for his team, who haven't made it out into the B site yet. And with an important shot, but Loba sees the feet of Ona Pixel and brings him to the ground. Cat defends the site from Anna, and it's another round. Kill from Anna. Fantastic flash. Henry has a lot to do now. Solo anchoring the B site. His AWPA was lost early. CT smoke again is a little awkward, but Berry's cross. Headshot angle could have gone against Henry, but he's able to get one. Might not be enough, though, because that cross to the site still looks likely. Nade's going down into the B site. Cat looking to come out from heaven. Swinging down, spotting two, and it's Ona wow. Pixel with a Mac 10 who somehow beats her in the battle. And now it's Loba's turn to strike. A couple of low health players, but it doesn't matter when you headshot them that quickly. Loba looking to swiftly make his way forward towards the side of the pimp. Uh, all right for himself, up to five kills now. Especially in this game where we were saying Team Loba don't really have any weak players. Who gets the fight and the push from Loba, really? Acor is holding for the boost, and Pimp's head does show slightly above the wall, but uh, no chance take it. Kill not confirmed. Taking their time on this mid approach. This is quite common, though. You'll see that smoke into garage, which means you can't approach mid from both separate angles, which is what you want as the tease. And that's why if you peek when the garage is smoked, you can be in trouble. Acor fully focused, lasered in on that boosted position. Yeah, a slow round certainly from the T side here. And I think the fact that they've lost the player so early, they're just hoping that an, an overextension, a peek comes in. You can draw that kill back to an equilibrium as you head into the final 40 seconds, but it's been disciplined so far from Team Loba. They haven't given a kill on over. So let's see if Loba can catch a flank timing. That could be massive. But his teammates might do a good enough job to just hold down the fort on B to begin with. Good first kill from Cat. Henry supports to some utility, but Incendiary put down. And Pimp looking to try well. and force them out of position. 15 seconds. They're being slowed completely. And they've just got to go now. Oof. They can't win the round anymore. No. I think they've even just smoked themselves off at this point. Try and save what they can. Let's hope they don't die after time. I think they'll be fine. Team Loba also focusing on their own economy. Morning to make sure they get some CT rounds. Yes, it is. It's a good position. This too. It's difficult as the first player in towards the B side to commit to that angle because there's so many other positions you have to worry about so checking on top of the lamp is pretty low on the priority list <laughs> oh, oh that's so goes down. oh no will they check cat barry goes around oh good peek from barry doesn't over commit to the angle and is able to get behind cover and adjust his aim to come back out for the kill and that's the beast like completely fallen now no one in there on the ct defense to deal with it and the bomb will go down in the hands of Pimp. And they wanted to get to the B site in the previous round. They just couldn't break through the barrier. Well, this time they make it look easy. Yeah, when that uh, lamp was first added to cash, I did go up there and I, I tried to see if it was a magic lamp. I rubbed it for some wishes. I asked for them to come B. I asked for myself to ace. None of them came through, Dinko. I don't think it's a magic lamp, sadly. There's only so much magic in this world, Hawker. Yeah, they're not going to waste it on me, are they? <laughs> well, there's more saying there's not enough magic, shall I say. That's probably a better way of putting not it. enough to go around. And then you have those unbelievable. So selfish. Card tricks, man. What a waste. That was a good shot from Barry. He's had a bit on the board. Blind Fury. Kill an enemy while blind. Oh, well. Anna was blind, but Acor too quick this time. 
Well, good kill from Barry. Nice little peek up in towards A core. Drop down into middle from Pimp. And Loba is going to come forward to try and deal with Pimp. He'll move forward into the edges of the smoke. And Pimp, ooh, I think he's about to get caught here. Even while blinded, Loba gets unblinded just in time to react to take Pimp down. And an important kill that keeps them ahead in the player count as we head to one minute left on the clock on the pixel side begin to move out on towards a side they clear out mbk with the molotov a position that letney has often played and they eliminated that spot now next it comes from squeaky door the other two from main and we know this team have had a bit of a problem with timing we've seen that in a previous round before and eventually they just gotta go and Letney is here with Henry G. They've got the forces ready, but Henry gets caught immediately by Nexa. Good trade from Loba. Letney is low, but Owner Pixel cannot take him out, leaving just Barry in a 1v3. And low. Oh, it is a retake A setup with Nexa playing all the way back at the truck. And he's about to be smoked. I mean, this has got to be come. a home plan. Man, it should be. There it is already. Bomb is down at a minimum. That's good for the T side, meaning they will have a strong force buy in the next round, even if they are to lose this pistol. And speaking of losing, they have lost Henry G, but next they will pull that disadvantage back. Looking to try and get back into the site, though. It is Loba on the double. And Cat just sitting back quad. Looking good for the T's for the time being. Cat makes it look even better. Just Nexa, who has done a bit of work. He's found three in the pistol, and he's going to go ahead for more, but the time is the limiting factor, so it's all about damage. He might even get all five here. Acor committed in the site. will prevent the ace and the round, so... Take doesn't work out. These were those shots from Nexa. I thought this was going to allow the retake to happen, but credit to Team Loba. They held well. Looks like we have Nexa playing over towards A. And Erna Pixel will be doubling up towards B. Banner on that orb, hoping to hold on to the mid control. So got that new challenge. Ooh, Loba, who is the man who is being hunted right now. If you knife him, you get a thousand bucks. He's got that Mac 10. He's trying to sneak around, but I think it's the orb that should be favored. Maybe not, though, because Hannah's been chunked down low. Barry puts himself. In a strong position, it would be good to see Barry deliver some impact because he has been somewhat quiet throughout this game. And we were just talking earlier about the fact that Barry has been good in this tournament so far. He pounces on Letney, but Henry G to trade. And Barry does not stand for long. Again, Acor has slipped through this B side. Henry G is pushing through A. They have so much control across the map, and Acor knows he's tracked on a pixel to the back of the site. And just a one tap straight away removes his opponent. Acor moves forward though, and Anna reads the move, realizes. So maybe possible. Oh, that was a good shot from him early. Cool there. So for Anna, that Acor was going to push CT. Definitely did his job in that round. Barry MP9 up mid. The nade's gonna go right onto the back of Loba, but it does not do any damage because a little bit too deep to be relevant. It's too much for a tank. Yeah, he is. Just has to stop him with nades. Another default here. Lots of defaults on this T side. Happy to play the clock. Maybe see if Acor can find a pick. Does he clear down below him, though? Because Barry is still tucked in. Oh, and he's going to hear noisy. this. <laughs> well, the MP9 just rock out right underneath Acor. Okay. Well, no recovery of the AWP, but a kill nonetheless. And removing Acor is a big player to find. Barry coming alive over the last two rounds. We'll see if he can get a bit more as he tries to retreat to the vent. But Loba covers that off and disallows any access to safety. Are we going to get a good CT smoke? We haven't seen many. There's one. That'll do. That'll do. But it does allow Pimp actually to walk out through the smoke. Mm. It's not deep in the spawn. Yes. So if Pimp can actually use this to assist Owner Pixel. It's going to allow Owner Pixel to take first contact. Then he moves in swiftly to take down Loba. And a second from Pimp. He might even get a bit more. A third. And he knows where Henry G is. The battle of the talent. But this of Team Owner Pixel. Team Loba's money is a little bit questionable. New challenges to get a Zeus kill. 
think I see one in play. Oh, no, maybe I don't. I don't know if they're focusing on that right now anyway. I feel like the bragging rights are on the line for both of these teams. And him feeling it on this B-Summit right now. He gets two. Yeah, great work. Conan Pixel really just needs one kill. Probably would have been better if he didn't swing and just stayed alive, allowing Anna less of a, a focus, but... It's all kind of crumbling for the CTs here. Next to Nano is still alive though. So there is two players you want up in this position. They are certainly two that you would choose from. Flash and an incendiary left. So not really the best utility to get you back in here. So I think they're starting to consider just the save call. Taking a look at the money situation. Seeing they won't be able to get an AWP in the next round. That's a bit of a tough pill to swallow. And that it will be a 10th round for Loba. And this game is kind of living up to the billing that we kind of expected for it and try and set the expectations for the viewers at home. These are the two best teams in the competition. And this is the closest game we've had so far in terms of good level CS across both teams too. That's been really solid. That wasn't able to get away safely. Unfortunately, that... Anna's just going to keep it in her back pocket, though, using the AWP to allow Barry to move up close. And wow, Barry wins that first fight. They might not have expected the AWP, but Anna misses her chance to pounce. And that nade looks good. Barry is going to be dunked on. Nexus snuck onto the B site, though. They're not going to expect this. Well, Nexus just sits to the back and gets a lovely double. Acor and Henry G both go down in a foul swoop. And now it is Loba and Letney heading into the two versus three. Loba enters middle once again fixated upon trying to get in towards this b-site and who is waiting for them but next sir the one player with the ak this could go well for the cts could go, go. did it yeah could being the operative word on this occasion but it could still go well for them dinko it could still oh dear oh dear <laughs> and it's all down here on a pixel now as you could win it he could no it's not no. impossible yeah, okay, it's not impossible, but improbable, yes. Let's go on a pixel. What's he got up his sleeve? Nate goes in. Bang. Good bit of damage onto Loba. Now it's a one tap on Loba, I reckon. Ooh. <laughs> For a second. Yes, I thought. well, there was a, a small chance that the challenge will be Bounty Hunter on Earn a Pixel. Well, you just wasted it because it already was. But here we are. Loba. I just wanted one of my wishes to come true over the top of the boost, but not coming through. Instead, some utility, some presence being shown towards A from that squeaky setup. Loba's thrown his own solo set of utility. And the rest of his teammates begin to come through A main to get a smoke off the cross, clear out quad. The next is in a good position, and Barry has helped him. Spray through the smoke won't connect, but these smokes are making it difficult for the T's to breach the bomb site. Cat is in the midst of them, but the flash is fantastic. They haven't cleared Nexa. Oh no, he's in behind again, and it is easy pickings, but it's not over. Let me brings one back, and the Molly will force them into the open. But Nexa's still going strong. Surely someone needs to stop this man. Oh, the Tech Nine will do it, but Acor's so low. Acor looks oh. for the peak. Good headshot across the car. On a pixel, down. And now it was oh, all no. on Pimp. He's in Z. He's got a good position here, but Acor... I think Nexa ended up being out of ammo, so he pulls out the pistol. That turns into this incredibly awkward fight. Oh, and finally Acor got... We've got some MAC-10s, Dinko. We haven't had many quick rounds. I think this could be a fast one. Oh, just kidding. Yeah, oh, it might no, be on no, to maybe something it is. there, Hawk. It might be on to something still. Yes, here they go straight into A-Man. Nexa goes for the aggressive play and ends up getting punished by Cat. And that might just be the signal to go. They've taken down one of the biggest hitters on the defense, and that might open up A completely. And is trying to get back over to help Barry in time. And here they come. The T's unleash Henry G with the Mac 10. Clears out Barry from his strong position. Anna gets at least one, but she'll need to cleave away a lot more here from this position. And finally, overwhelmed. The T's into the site. The bomb goes down. Just pimp and Ona picks the left in the 2v4. And as you would expect, it is the save call for the two remaining members of the CT side. And a pixel gets one on the way out. It's not looking good for Team Erna Pixel right now. Team Loba have started to run away with it. I think Acor showing up with that clutch might be the deciding factor in this map and in this best of one. 
CTs could really do with holding on to it. Oh, no, and a pixel sticking around. He doesn't have to be here, but he wants action. And Acor's going to punish him for it. Another rifle lost. It is only Pimp. Looks like he's going to get to save. You know what? I guess you got to cheer for on a pixel since it's his line. It is his line. And they're Using behind and everybody him. roots for the underdog. So here we go. Are they going to be able to pull it off? This could be an early preview, ladies and gentlemen, of our grand final as well. We're only in the group stage of this competition, but in a few days time, we will have a grand final. Five on four. Ticket of all off, Dick. I'm getting them all. <laughs> That's a good one. Yeah, that, I've heard that one uh, a couple of times. <laughs> a few casts, actually. I think that uh, quite a unique line there, actually. Well, here we go. It is about to be a core setting utility in towards the site and plenty of players in behind him. Henry G, the one at the front of the B side, and he's realized, okay, they're calling me away. They're telling me to go back towards A, so he's going to regroup with the rest of the forces and shift their attentions back over to the defense over here. And, oh, the defense currently is next up. 28 kills, has an opportunity to go for 30. Anna's going to come on over with a scout. 34 seconds left. Maybe the scout can damage Loba enough to take him out if, if he goes out of the squeaky door. Currently scoped in towards main. And Acor's AWP challenges first. Loba is so quick at taking down Nexa. Anu got taken out by the AWP as well. And both A defenders down. So three versus three. The retake is not looking pretty with Acor's kill on Ona Pixel. Yeah, they just don't have the utility. This AWP, I thought was going to chew them up. It's actually Letney who steals the kill away instead. And yet again, Pimp is sat in a position where he can't do anything with the AWP. It simply has to be a save. It has to be 15. Loba's team have just started running away with it here in the second half. Going on a big streak to pull themselves up to map point and the chance to go undefeated in the group stage. Cat added to the mix, just no real weak link on the side, to be honest, and you're seeing a great performance out of the whole team. Last hurrah, perhaps, on cash here from the pixel. Cat kicks it off with an opener. There's another player at Sandbags, though. They might not be ready for Barry to be in that position. They already got a kill here. Oh, did they spot Barry there, though? Well, now they oh. certainly have. Well, they know about Barry. He's going to keep himself alive for as long as possible and try and allow Cat to get him out of... Or Anna, rather, to get him out of his uncomfortable position. And let his headshot. Barry's gone. And oh, my goodness. This is so good from Team Loba. Make control completely crumbles, and now it is just Pimp and Onipixel left alone. A two versus five. Cat swings at the car, sees Onipixel behind it. I feel like it's just a matter of time before it is done. Letney with a flank around Z connector, and it's just Pimp left. 16 11.